So guys, right, the new Swing On Tour, isn't it just amazing what these guys are doing these days with their bodies, right? They're hitting an absolute mile and they've got just ridiculous amounts of side bend, even players that you didn't think would have that, that look to have pretty conventional technique. Guys, you, be, you know, we're being fooled. There is perhaps a way to swing here for some of you out there just by improving in a touch that makes it a lot easier to hit a golf ball. We're seeing stronger grips, we're seeing bowed wrists, we're seeing bodies bend and turn and on the side. To the point, have a look at this. I mean, this is this uh, Joachim Neiman. I think that's how you say his name. That is absolutely uh, insane. And uh, we did a, vi a video recently, and people, I said, leave your comments underneath, and some were saying they'd be needing surgery and all sorts of things, which is probably true. Lee Trevino swung in a very similar way. Look at the number here with the driver. That's 68 degrees. An incredible amount of side bend here uh, through the ball. The only thing that's perhaps actually saving him there is that the head and chest have opened up a lot as well. And this is what we're seeing. Look at Brooks Kupka on this side here. At 71 degree side bend through the golf ball is uh, is just staggering, actually. Tiger Woods saying that this guy actually hits it with a more penetrating flight than Tiger does with his irons, which is uh, hard to believe. But obviously, you know, it came from Tiger Woods guy absolutely smashes it. We're seeing strong grips. We're seeing club face positions change. In fact, leave your comments underneath. It is this standard grip these days almost too weak? And what we're seeing and what's really, really interesting, this is something I've been showing people on worldclassgolf.com, is a weaker grip around the green and stronger, a stronger grip when you're looking at certain clubs and certain shots. We're just seeing the, the ability to really you know, strengthen club face position. We need a little bit less rotation with the hands and we can tilt the body on the side. Uh, it's really remarkable looking at the averages of Moomit Cameron Champ. What a golf swing this is. Why oh, this guy doesn't win more often, I don't know. And when the arms get around parallel to this side, we're also seeing 64 degrees. That's quite a conventional looking swing. You wouldn't actually think there's that much side bend in it. But there actually is. When we have a look at the golf ball here, people, it's just, you know, through the other side, the shoulders are slightly on this side. And this is what, you know, can hammer your hips a lot harder and faster and uh, stay in the shot, right? This is what gives you the, the, the bend of your hips. Because if you're turning through level and you're turning hard, you'll come out of it or you'll hit huge pulls. And you're seeing that 10 to 17 degrees is, is this side bend through the golf ball is the PGA average. The PGA averages of movement, is remarkable when you're looking at these guys these days. You know, they can't all hurt their backs, can they? I mean, most touring pros, and I've said that before, most touring pros they don't have the best backs, really. It's not the sport for the great. And I've said before, are they playing it to play senior golf? You know, are you going to hurt your back? And will most of these players be playing senior golf? You know, is Justin Thomas here moving through the ball? You know, look at the 65 degrees. Is that going to ruin his back? But it's a quite a remarkable shoulder bend and tilt and side bend when you're looking at this type of move through the shot with the head being, you know, really on the side. The strength of the grips is what's changed. You know, we're seeing it a lot of the time with the three knuckle grip. Now I've done 45,000 lessons, right, all around the world with high speed cameras and filming a lot of people. And when you're looking at the average player, Definitely what you're seeing them hit the ball stronger and better with a stronger lead hand or a left hand on the grip. You know, when we're having a look at Tiger Woods, even in 2000, it was a two and a half knuckle grip was deemed to be very strong. What I like with this grip, however, is the V created through the, the thumb and the forefinger. And when you're looking down, he was saying that he was seeing the second knuckle very easily and at two and a half moving in that direction. You can have a different grip for different shots. You know, and Tom Watson mentioned that with some of his short game shots, changing grips for softer flighted shots or a, a bit more of a compressed lower type of pitch. Uh, looking at good players when they're hitting a driver, really they're you know, turning their grip into a three knuckle grip and having a two knuckle grip with your irons, get more play in, in the hands and the wrists. We're seeing it with, you know, great ball strikers. We're seeing this right hand and the Americans seem to be doing it a lot more really turning the club into, you know, a battering ram. We have Victor Hovland here. With club face positions at the top, they're just getting a lot stronger, aren't they? Up the top here, bowed left hands, and then tilt and smash, and uh, really getting things to open up, and shoulders to open up, heads dropping a mile to hit it with that bent right arm down and into impact here, and just repeating machines, really. I mean, these guys are hitting it that good. 
Guys, when we're looking at uh, information for online lessons, you can have a look at craighansongolf.com. Uh, we're starting to really get in there and help so many people hit you know better shots. We've been looking a lot of the time at uh, a lot of these proven positions. There's Paul Casey looking at the club head coming down. If you don't have track man, if you don't have flight scope, looking at this position that we've been showing so many people, uh, helping so many people to play better golf. And uh, guys, if you you know once you get your hands on right information, you start to apply it effectively, regardless of a high swing, low swing, or where it's coming down. You need to get this club head coming down in the correct position. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. And averages of movement. It's an interesting one, isn't it? When we're looking at uh, what great players do. What are the facts of the swing? And uh, can we look at a golf swing? Obviously, there's a lot of feel in the swing. Uh, I mean, I hit the ball very solid myself, helping a lot of people to improve by really you know, getting in there. And a lot of people are unfortunately messed up and uh, don't know the facts of the motion and the golf swing. And this way, uh, with online lessons and worldclassgolf.com, we're helping people, you know, really get on the path to playing some uh, fantastic golf with these proven uh, positions. We see Tommy Fleetwood there coming in with this club head behind the hands and once again through the golf ball. Interesting, isn't it, when we see how close these great players are to one another 64 degree shoulder turn. Guys, improvement, that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.